done one of these videos for quite a while, but after the events of the last few days, I kind of felt the urge to do so. Especially after things that started to happen after the season 7 opener. I'm not going to go into it that much because I don't want to start any arguments or whatever <sighs> because yeah it was brutal it was nasty hello Negan ain't Santa Claus um and if I personally haven't but from what I've read I didn't follow the comics or anything but the um the way it happened especially especially with Glenn is the way it was supposed to happen so anybody that followed the comics knew what was coming so it shouldn't have been too much of a surprise but <laughs> that's not really the point of this as it were I'm talking about the aftermath. Excuse me, with my stomach. Um, more specifically, talking about Jeffrey and Norman starting to get like death threats and hate groups and all the rest of it. Um, are you people insane? I mean, really. It's, okay, it's a show. We're all very attached to fans of etc. But that's it. It's a show. It's an escape from reality. I've said this before. The show's a big escape. For many people, me included. And I actually cannot believe the things that people have been doing to Jeffrey and Norman. This is the, that's the kind of thing that could stop these guys coming to conventions like, I don't know, Walker, Stalker, Comic Con, whatever the other ones are, I don't know. So, I, I, I just don't understand how people can go that far to actually threaten someone's life. These people are playing characters, they're following a script. Excuse my friends here, but Jeffrey didn't actually walk in and completely skull fuck people. You know, it was in the script. He kind of had to. And from what an interview I either saw or read, I can't remember. He, w even he was getting to the point after so long of the filming that he was gonna walk off set. So it's affected him just as much as it affected everybody else. Even though it's him who was doing the damage, so to speak. But I mean, really, for th these people, just stop for a second and really think about what you're doing. Take out of the equation that these people are famous actors, whatever. They're human beings. They have kids. They have families. And all because they are doing a job that they are paid to do. 
you people are threatening their life. How would you feel if somebody did that to a member of your family? And again, I use the word family because that's commonly used in this fandom. The Walking Dead. We're a family. Some of you need to start fucking acting like it. And I actually I never thought this would be a sentence I would say, but as a Negan cosplayer, I was actually threatened also because of who I play. Really? I'm playing a character played by someone else. Um, what is wrong with you? And, and for a while, actually, when this first happened for a while, I almost decided against not only the cosplay itself, but actually going to London. But then I thought about it. I have had this planned for a long time. And there's no way in hell I'm going to let one person take any of that away from me. I have so much planned with all my girls and new people I've started to make friends with. Including uh, Charlie, who's going as a female Daryl. And she said, We need to get a picture together. And I said, Yeah, we do. But, you know, just please don't punch me. <laughs> so, it's all in fun. But, Something I, another thing I wanted to explain as well. Some people wonder why I'm so attached to the character Negan. I'm not going to go into too many details, but as I had said before in the status, I have my reasons. And it's a personal one. It's a very personal one. So, so from this point on, or from the next couple of minutes, or however long I decide to ramble, I'm actually going to speak to Jeffrey. Whether he sees it or not, that's, I have to say it anyway. I had never really followed Negan specifically, but I knew of you. So, of course, it was a, a huge deal. I started to look into the character more, and especially when some clips and pictures and everything started to come out. and. I started to follow him more and I started to play around with the idea of dressing up for Walker Stalker and I had originally, actually I had originally I'd been gonna go as, as Daryl but something changed because I, for want of a better phrase, let Negan in. Because of things that happened to me in the past that still affect me now through 
incredibly horrific, violent relationships that I won't go into because I don't want to give you nightmares. It seems funny. But when I took him on something clicked being in that character and being in that role if you like for even short periods of time gave me back what I lost it gave me back my power my control my confidence everything that was taken away from me it made me <laughs> I'm so not going to cry on the camera again it made me <laughs> able to face a lot of difficult things that I do still go through sometimes daily sometimes not really depends but the thing is I wouldn't have or be able to do any of that if you hadn't brought him to life. So while he may be perceived as a monster, evil, whatever, your portrayal, your Yes. Charm and putting the humanity into him has given me me back. That might sound crazy to some people, but that's what it is. So while you and Norman are suffering all these threats, this, that, and the next thing, please remember this. Because of what you've done, and will keep doing for a long time, I hope, I can face the day. And sometimes you need to hear something like that. There's so much negativity going on. Don't ever forget it. You might be taking on a bad guy. But you're a bad guy. Makes me a better woman. So for all that, thank you.